everybody. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Enjoying my days off. Today's Monday. My second Saturday. Uh, busy day this morning. I got up initially at 5, but then I went back to bed and slept for another hour. Took my car into the mechanic and got the last repair for a while. I mean, there's a few other little things that need to get done, but the most pressing items, they're finally done. My oil pan gasket was leaking, so I got that replaced. Next thing is getting new tires. Oh, and yesterday, that hood prop rod, I installed that. It fit. It was pretty much the same rod as the one that I found in the trunk. I was just trying to put it in the wrong way. But, whatever. I didn't know that that thing existed. Can't return that thing, obviously. Especially if I had to pay for shipping in that giant box. It's not worth it. It probably cost as much to ship it as it was to buy it. So yeah, new tires. That's on the agenda. I would like to do a major tune-up. Replace all the filters and I mean I could replace the air filter myself it's easy but replace the spark plugs the wires stuff like that um, oh and I also am planning on getting the windows tinted because as you can see that's what it looks like now imagine it with tinted windows just kind of bring it all together um, what else? Bam! Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new here. I appreciate the support. I do make a lot of videos. Go back through the library and check some of them out. There's some big ones. We've got some pretty good boxes. Lots of top hits. Lots of grails. Very fun. I haven't bought a Smile World box for a while, and we used to buy them all the time, and I never got a duck. I need a duck in my life. Um, oh yeah, what else did I do today? Got gas for my car. I'm sure you guys are thrilled about this, but if you're new here, this is the MO. And I think there are going to be some new viewers based on the title of this video. And the contents of this box <clears throat> but yeah got gas got COVID tested at my work actually I almost forgot about that until I got a text from my boss it's like don't forget COVID testing um, I have the weekly zoom meeting with the family tonight looking forward to that we got the $250 popping ball box ordered and those are supposed to ship out tomorrow Tuesday so it's coming from Texas Texas usually takes five or six days so that box should arrive here next Monday a week from today that's how that's how those things work that's gonna be fun as you guys know well the guys and girls who have been around for a while when we do get the pop King Paul boxes one of the fun things I do is I write down every single one of the pops on the glam shot and uh, look up the values of them just so I can kind of get an idea what I'm hoping for now these are guaranteed value of two hundred dollars so I think maybe it was 225 anyway you could lose a little money on these there's he said there's two boxes over five hundred dollars I know for sure which one of the one of them is um, there is the con the Seattle con sticker the ECCC con sticker uh, Emerald Chrome Batman now we have the shared sticker and this is a very strange anomaly in the Funko world the shared sticker of this particular pop I don't know why 
is worth more than the actual con sticker by like twenty dollars so the con sticker one where do I have it written down here somewhere sorry is 430 the shared sticker the Funko shop is 450 it happens sometimes sometimes like a common pop is worth more than a glow-in-the-dark or an exclusive it's just weird maybe because there's more of them I don't know I don't know how it works but so yeah 430 for that one and then the next most valuable pop is the Hatbox Ghost and that's three hundred and eighty dollars and then you have the Indiana Jones convention sticker the Golden Idol is 280 the Spartan Warrior the green one is 290 then there's this anime pop Tony Tony Chopper for some reason is worth 240 bucks so those are like the biggest hits um, so it could be any one of those other pops in a box that equals five hundred dollars. I don't know, but you got the Freddie Pennywise it's clocking in at two hundred. Dobby one sixty-five, the Metallic Wiss. I think I have one thirty-five written down. Spike from some show is one forty-five. Phoebe Buffay from Friends with the guitar. Is that the Little Cat song? Or stinky cat, whatever. 120. James Wan is a director. 140. Mr. Toad, 150. A lot of these are convention stickers, they're exclusives. Um, Toshi, 110. Bone Daddy. I had Bone Daddy at one point. Got that out of Mystery Box. 190. Sold it on eBay in an auction and lost. Lost value on that thing. Boy, did that suck. That was right before I learned about waffles, too. Um, Huckleberry Hound, 140. There's a Stormtrooper, which is 95. He did say that every single pop he had pictured was worth $100 at the time of the picture. But there is an anomaly after this next one. Jar Jar Banks, 165. Now, something that Pop Price Guy had recently started doing is differentiating between the special edition overseas sticker and the actual store exclusive sticker previously there wasn't really a difference in price people paid the price for the special edition sticker that they did for the store sticker like Hot Topic or Target or whatever um, apparently now they've separated them into the overseas sticker and the store sticker so one of the pops and I don't know how recently that just started I just saw that happening like the last day or so but there's an Osaka oh Asoko Asoka sorry that has the special edition sticker and it is sixty dollars according to PPG the actual store sticker is a hundred dollars so that's the only one that is like different there's a Roxy Richter there's a bunch of them from the 100 uh, 145 Todd Ingram oh no Roxy Richter is from Scott Pilgrim Saves the World then there's also a bunch of the 100 uh, Todd Ingram is also 145 Ren Rennie? I don't can't read my own writing. Hundred. Uh Jack Burton. Oh that's cool one. Is a hundred bucks. Big trouble in Little China. It's cool. Kirk Russell. Um Pain and Panic. 130. And then there's the 100 ones. Clark, 105. Link Lexa, 105. A Chase Lexa is 175. It's a good chase. Um, Octavia, Octavia, 100. Bane, 150. The Chase Flash, 130. Toucan Sam, 180. Bunch of serial ones. Lucky Charms, 100. 
Sunny the Cuckoo, 110. Yummy Money, 200. And Fruit Brute, 190. That's 36 pops that I just rattled off. That's how many boxes there were. I know how and why I'm able to get Pop King Paul boxes. There's things that you need to do to get them. And a lot of people are prepared. And it's funny reading the comment threads on his post when he posts the sold out. So many people are like, oh, yay, the bots got them all again. Must be nice to sell out in two seconds to all the bots that don't even care about the pops. <laughs> I had talked to him. I, like, I talked to Paul all the time. And I'm like, do you actually think that there's bots buying your boxes? He's like, no. I mean, he said there could be, but he communicates. He's a very good communicator when it comes to people asking him questions DM-wise. He gets a little frustrated, understandably, when he puts a post up saying, please refer to my original post for prices and time and all the information about this box, and people still... What, how much is it going to cost? Anyway, uh, but he said that he knows most of the people that get his boxes because they talk to him, he talks to them. So real people are getting these boxes, not bots. Well, I guess a bot is attached to a real person. But, you know, I see a lot of people opening up his boxes on YouTube. Those aren't bots. Maybe some of those people use bots to get them? I don't know. But he, you know, whatever. I'm not a bot. I just have things ready to go so I get one. We will be rambling a little bit, little bit today. That's what we do. Thumbs up if you like this video. You want to see more of these things? This is kind of how we roll. I'm not one of those mystery box people that... Wham bam, thank you man, later, leave a sub. Nope, you get to get to know me, if you want to. You don't have to, you can fast forward it up to the box. And I know a lot of people do that. A lot of people like to uh, just have me playing in the background while they do chores, and then as soon as I say, okay, time to open the box, then they come running. But if you do want to know when one of my video next videos is dropping, Go ahead and click that bell button. I haven't done a live stream for a while. Might be doing one soon. I, I do have some uh, potential waffle opaguses. I usually do it on Instagram, but there's no reason why I can't do them on my YouTube channel. Or actually, maybe there is a reason. Maybe I could get in trouble. Hmm. I don't know. You know, people do waffles all the time on YouTube. Do that. Whatever. All right. So, leave a comment below. Just uh, you know, reach out, say what's up, let me know how you're doing, tell me what you think about this box and what's in it. If it's not something that fits into my collection, I will be selling it. This one might be hard to sell. You'll know why in a minute. And if you're new here, say hi introduce yourself there's a lot of really cool people in this community a lot of really cool people that are my subscribers and they're subscribers of a lot of other people too not just they're not my subscribers but there's a lot of cool people that hang out in the chat that comment on a regular basis so introduce yourself become part of my chat group Besides the Pop King Paul box, the only other box that we have coming that I can remember, I'm pretty sure this is it, is the Nerd Merch Shop, their mystery box trio. And this one is a little bit different than other ones. This one was a $40 box, but it had a guarantee of $60. And there's some good stuff in it. Some very valuable stuff. We've done really well for the most part, on our mystery box trios from Nerd Merch Shop. There was one little anomaly that happened, um, but that has been 
taken care of. So continue to support these guys. I don't know why they don't sell out faster than they do because you get more than what you paid for back. There are a lot of newer pops, brand new releases. That's not a bad thing because, like I said, we've done really good. Like we've we've more than doubled our money over the course of buying these boxes. Doubled our money. Yeah. I mean, we've had a couple boxes that were triple value. It's insane. But on to the main event. I know that this is what most of you are here for. So we'll go ahead and get into this. This is a big box, but it's very light. The box says three pounds right up there, but I weighed this on my scale and it is not. It's under two pounds. It's one pound, 14 ounces. So there's either one or two pops in here. They were supposed to be one to six pops. And we've been talking about this for a while. And I'm super, super excited that it's finally here. This is from Funko Kings. Funko Collector X on Instagram. Their information, if I remember, will be down in the description of this video. Speaking of that, sorry. Seven Bucks a Pop has terminated their affiliate program. Because apparently people were using filtered searches or something on Google. Google searches for people looking up seven bucks a pop pop protectors and somehow they were able to link those purchases to their affiliate program I have no idea how that works that sounds extremely complicated but anyway people were ripping them off basically they were claiming somehow getting money for referrals that they didn't actually get and instead of them wasting time trying to go through on a regular basis and filter out the people that are cheating they said you know we just we'd rather just move on and be able to focus on more important things so no more affiliates of seven bucks a pop pop protectors I didn't really make that much money off of it it was just something fun but anyway so this is the Funko Kings box this is tied with the second most expensive mystery box I've ever purchased. The very first, well, the most expensive mystery box was the $1,100 Pop King Paul box. It's crazy. And then the other most expensive one that ties with this was also a Pop King Paul box that was $700. This is a $700 mystery box. However, it has a guaranteed value of $770. He dropped a whole bunch of boxes a few weeks ago that were like 100, 200, 300, 500, 700, 1500. The 1500 dollars box was guaranteed value at 1500. It wasn't guaranteed value at 1650 just because it's ridiculous because there's also discount codes you can use various people to get 10% off but bar has one uh, wide world of gamers has one luau has one I believe or maybe it's beard of pops anyway so there's discount codes to get 10% off think about it $700 box $770 off so $630 for a guaranteed value of 770 it's insane and he just dropped two more boxes, another $1,000 box and a $100 box. So there's affordable ones, and then there's the crazy high roller boxes. This is a high roller box for sure. I like these big end boxes. They're just so exciting. Fortunately, or unfortunately, I don't know, my budget limits my ability to do boxes like this. Um, and it actually ends up stopping me from getting a bunch of boxes but it's so fun if I have the means at the time I'm going for it otherwise 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm just really excited and a little scared. What's in this box? Okay, that's enough rambling. We're actually a minute over our normal ramble intro. After I edit some stuff out, it's still going to be long, but I appreciate everybody who has watched the entire thing. I know a lot of you haven't. That's okay. But let's get into this box and see what we got. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be a box in a box, but to be safe, we will open this from the bottom just so I don't see what the pop might be. And yes, there is a box in a box. And, oh, wow. Alright, so a lot of packaging, a lot of bubble wrap in there. Um, this still could be two pops. I mean, you could, you could fit two pops in here. I don't know. It doesn't feel like there's a stack. Which is very weird. You would think with $770 worth of pops, a stack? I don't know. Maybe there's a stack. Maybe they're both in stacks. Maybe it's just one pop right in the middle. It is. And it's in a stack. It is not in the stack. I'm confused. I gotta take a break. I will be right back. Okay. I'm back from my break. I know that wasn't long for you guys, obviously, because I paused this, but, uh... Okay, this is actually... A two-pack. Yes, it's definitely a two-pack. What on earth could this be? He does tape the bubble wrap on there. So, I'm not going to look. Pretty exciting. This thing has to be worth at least $770. Lots of tape all over the place. Okay. It is out of the thing now. I don't know. I mean, I know this is the top. It isn't a soft protector. You guys ready? Yes! Oh my effing G. This is one of my holy grails. I mean, you guys know that I collect Batman, Joker, and Batgirl. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, boom! that oh my gosh the Heath Ledger rest in peace bank robber joker this is a good pop vaulted vinyl there is a little like the box itself 
is really good. I don't know if they come with tape on it. That's taped. Um, yeah, there's one little flaw. Part of the the has been torn away. But when you get into grails like this, that doesn't necessarily affect the value that much. Like that's almost negligible. Now if the box was like crushed, if it was mangled, if the plastic vinyl was all crinkled and broken and yeah but the box itself is in great condition how freaking awesome is this this thing did peak at over a thousand dollars in value glow in the dark That is amazing. Let's uh, let's put it on top of this beautiful, beautiful pop albums. I love them so much. This like these are like two of my coolest things in my collection. And then right behind it are the Chrome Batman's. Well, all the Batman's are right here. Let's check out the value. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, there's a Batman and Joker surf's up two pack. Need to get that. So the Gemini collectibles, Batman or not Batman, the Joker and the Joker bank robber, has actually gone down. It's it's been kind of going down a lot. I don't know why. Um, its current PPG is eight hundred dollars, but that's probably because there's been some sales on eBay of probably damaged ones. eBay and Hobby Database, which is where the Pop Price Guide gets their values, they don't have the ability to differentiate between um, damaged ones, fake ones. But yeah, this last fall it was all over around, but it's just kind of gone down recently. I don't know why. Somebody sold one for $650. In the last 30 days, somebody sold one for $650. Somebody sold one for $995. So, I don't know why. Most of the sales are around eight hundred dollars. Doesn't really matter that much because I'm keeping this for the time being. Very cool. Very, very cool pop. Boom. What a score that is. Nice. Very nice. I'm very happy to get that. So yeah, that was definitely worth the wait. Um, man. Funko Kings. Good box. It'll probably be a while before I can get another high roller box like that. But... I will again. That's that's what we got for today. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch me open up the mystery box. It's pretty sweet. Very sweet. So until next time, until... Well, there's going to be another video after this, but it's from something I opened up before this one. Next one we get should be the nerd merch, and then next week, 
Pop King Paul Mystery Box. Stay tuned. Be safe. Have a great day. Peace.